Hi again everyone and welcome to Woodside Farm. So a few weeks ago I did a vote for the next map and there were four options and Woodside Farm was a clear winner. So here we are, we are now playing on Woodside Farm for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing it for but I think it will be a long time because it is such an amazing map. I have been driving around for, let's just check, um, an hour and 47 minutes. Trying to get my bearings and understanding where everything is. Also been checking for glitches and to be honest this map is fairly glitch free. I found I think two hidden collisions but that is all. Um, I may find more as I go along but so far I'm impressed. So first of all what I want to do is take you for a drive and show you all of the equipment which we're starting off with. Now it's not the default equipment which you would get if you downloaded the map now and went to go and play it. Um, I've actually added a lot more in because I want this to be a bit different to Cobra Park Farm. On that one, we're starting off with the basic machinery and I'm having to build up as I go along, also playing on hard. Um, this one, I would like to start off with more of the equipment so I'm not having to spend a no number of episodes just trying to get the money for one machine. Having said that though, we are going to have to buy more machines. I've not started off with everything because that would be stupid. Um, there would be no goal if I did that. But we do have a lot more than say Cobb Park Farm. Um, so anyway, here we are. This is Woodside Farm. At least it's the map. We're driving towards Woodside Farm itself. Looking very nice, lots of trees. And this is set in Dorset. Very beautiful area of the UK. Lots of grass fields, but also arable mixed in there too. And one thing which immediately struck me all those fields, amazing. I like the fact that there is a lot of fields. Um, but the thing that immediately struck me was, those fields look kind of small. But then, when you actually get to them, for example, field number 45, is actually fairly big. Because I thought this was just going to be a load of tiny fields, which we wouldn't be able to use any big machinery with at all. But it wasn't. So I'm really impressed by that. Okay, so here we are. This is the first section. There are a number of different yards. I have got, yes this tractor is not going to power that, <laughs> but that is our slurry, um, which we're going to use. That you may recognise as our water and milk tanker, which has been modified. This is the, the standard one. Um, the blue one is a mod, but it looks very similar. So here we are, looking very British, I really like it. This map is very tight. It's um, quite hard to manoeuvre some of these machines. We do have a lorry, um, but I'm not going to use this just whenever I feel like it. This is here for when we have lots of grain to sell. This is going to be what I use to take all the grain to the selling point instead of just using the tractor and trailer back and forth all the time because that can get repetitive. With this we can actually have a mass load to take and, and sell it all in one go. So that is that, what that's there for. Uh, like I say, not going to be using that for corn carting. That is just for when we're selling. Like you would in real life. You'd get a lorry come to your yard, fill it up, and it would take it away to wherever, docks or uh, wherever it would be going to. Next we have got, let's jump out here, we've got the JCB. This is the bigger one. We don't have the smaller one. Um, this is the Fast Track 8310. And you may be thinking, well, if it's a tight farm, if everything's tight, all the, all the roads and everything, why would you buy such a big tractor? Well, as I go back to my initial point, field number 45 is fairly big, despite it looking small. In fact, I say field 45, but 51, 8, 44, um, 30. They're all pretty big fields, they just don't look it on the minimap. If you've played this map, you will know. Um, and we will need some bigger equipment. This, however, is the biggest machine I'm going to buy. I'm not going over this horsepower. I think it's 300 and... 10 am i right just have to go and have a look um yes it is so we're not going over 310 horsepower that is perfectly adequate for this farm um i'm ideally going to be sticking with the smaller equipment such as the john deere 6410 which is a nice tractor very nice to drive here is our cultivator as you can probably see it's not a massive one it's a vogel and newt and that is a good size we won't need anything bigger than that we do also have the small one the really small blue one as well if we need it 
Um, yeah, so we've got the Grimmy GL420 potato planter here. We're going to do some potatoes. We've actually already got some potatoes in the ground. We start off with that. Um, so that is nice. We'll be able to do some potatoes whenever we want because they're, they're growing now and they'll be ready very soon. Uh, we've got sheep. They're all in the field there. Again, this is a mixed farm. We've got livestock as well. Um, that is the wool just there. We have quite a lot of animals though. I'll just show you in the store here. We've got 50 cows. This is not what you start off with, by the way. You start off with none. Zero of everything. Uh, 50 cows, 50 sheep, 50 chickens. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to do a lot of livestock on this farm as well as the arable. As you can see, they are roaming in this large grass field. So they're happy there. We will continue our journey down the road. And I'm sure you can probably appreciate now the amount of detail in this map. Brilliant. And I believe the map maker is called Tom X55. I think it says on here, yes, Tom X55. So um, thank you very much to him. Very nice map. It actually took me a long time just to get all the machines in the right place because everything of, of course starts at the store so I've had to distribute it all across the map in the right places here is the main livestock farm we have another 6410 just there but that is slightly different you may notice the tyres they are row crop tyres so these will be useful for when spraying for when doing our potatoes basically any time we're going to be going into the crops when they're growing um, for spraying, fertilising, that kind of thing, and also when doing potato planting. Um, and this is, of course, our wider, much bigger flotation kind of tyres. They're not quite flotation, I don't think, but they are bigger. Now, this is where we have all of our chickens roaming, and this, <laughs> this is going to be quite hard to get down without crushing them all. So it's a good job you can't kill them. There are static animals in there, which is nice. It's a good feature. Um, this is, yeah, the livestock farm, so plenty of different um, sheds for all of our animals to be in. And here we go, we've got the skid steer loader. It's about time I used this in one of my Let's Plays. Very nice, can't wait to use this properly. I've never really used it properly, I've used it in my um, mod review, but not really again since then. We have four attachments, I didn't buy them all, I think there's six attachments in total. Um, yeah, there's six attachments. I only went for four. We've got the manure grab here, the bale spike, the pallet tines, pallet forks, and our universal bucket. I think that's all we need for now. The other two are the log grab and the stump grinder. I don't think I need those. And if we do, they're not too expensive, so we'll be able to uh, purchase them at a later date if we do need to. So down here, we have got our sprayer. I don't usually do spraying, so that is a nice change. I usually just stick with the fertilizer spreader, but that's kind of getting boring because I always do fertilizer. So spraying is going to be something I do quite quite largely on this map. In here, we have got our windrow as usual. We've got our tether. We don't need the big stuff, so I'm just keeping to the small stuff. And also our smallest pottinger um, forage wagon. So that is where our sort of grass work is staying. I do need to bring the mowers in here. The mowers, which I've not shown you yet, are in a different section. Okay, so jumping back into the 6410. Love this tractor, really well done. It's also got interactive controls. So that's all very nice. If we need to have the window open, we can. Um, so, going back over our chickens, crush them again. Try not to. Um, we have got, beyond here, Oh, I like the um, turning tracks on the road as well. Very nice. We've got the mixer there. I didn't think we needed the self propelled one. That would have been a bit ridiculous for this farm. And then in here, we have got our New Holland, the T6 again. And yes, I promise to use this tractor more. I know I've been neglecting it a little bit in Cobra Park Farm. So we will get back into that. We've also got the Coon. This is our round baler instead of the New Holland. 
bit of a change there. Um, we've got the two Kuhn mowers here, and of course we do need more horsepower for these. That's where the bigger JCB will come in handy a, a great deal. So um, these will be good for that. We've then got our direct drill. To be honest, I can't really see us ever going without this drill because it's just so handy. And also our smallest Pottinger drill, which will come in handy for the tight fields. And also because this one, um, is it the maze it can't do? I think it is. Yeah, the maze it can't drill. And I believe this one can. So um, they will both come in handy great a great deal. Back into the tractor, we will reverse and move on to our next section. Now, yes, I am missing a couple of areas. I mean, there's, there's tracks which go off to the side to show you different fields, but um, I don't think I've missed too much so far. There is one place I do need to go back to. I have noticed I missed that. That was near field 14. You'll see, actually, no, between 14 and 50. You'll see there is a, like a, a concrete pad there. There's a few more sheds there, which I'm going to go and show you. I'll we'll have to go back, though. Um, these are our cows. I was going here. This is where our cows roam. And yeah, I think there is pretty much 50 in here. There is a lot of cows. All moving that way. We've got our plough under the tree. Very good place for it. Um, up here, I was kind of debating whether to get this or not. But because it is such an expensive piece of equipment, it would be good if we did start off with it. This is our Grimmy Potato Harvester. Um... Yeah, I don't know if we should have bought it or not, but I have done um, because we're only starting off with £25,000, which is not too much money, it's not too little money. It's a good amount to start off with, and we're playing on normal. Um, just here is, of course, our topper, which we've got on the front of the machine. Again, this is perfect for our JCB. We don't have the smaller JCB fast track, because I'm using that a lot in Cobble Park Farm. Don't really want to overuse the equipment too much. Um, but we have got our potato harvester there as and when we need it. Okay, so um, moving back down the road, we will go and see the next part of the yard. I quite like the different yards scattered about, instead of clumping it all together. So it's down here, quite a distance. Um, you can see, obviously, the fields in green are what we own. Six and ten, we own this one here. I have bought some more. This isn't default. I think ten is, though. We've got the Aussie grape in there. That's growing nicely. And further down the road, we've got lots of trees on the left. In fact, this, this map overall has got a lot of trees. I love maps with trees on. I don't really like the open maps too much. There's our potatoes. That's quite a steep field. But there they are. And just beyond that field is where our next part of the yard is. You'll see in there we have a combine. This is a John Deere. We'll go and look at it in closer detail. That is a very small one. We actually have two combines. Two small combines. That machine again, I was debating whether to get or not. But down here, it's a very nice, tight lane. We have got another section to the yard. Now we've got plenty of storage all around, and up ahead we have got a new Holland Combine. The same one as what we have in Carver Park Farm. Um, it just seems to be the right one for these maps. I mean, if we go into here, there is such a difference between the TC590 and the Axial Flow 7110, uh, 7130. Sorry, I just don't think I could justify having such a large combine on this map. For a start, the Sampo Rosenlu is um, tight for some of these for some of these roads in this map. So having the Axial Flow would just be crazy. I think so. I've really decided against having that. I'm sure some of you will be disappointed, but this is a small, it's not a small map, it's a massive map, but the layout is tight and it's um, really, you can only have the smaller equipment. Having said that though, I have actually got the JCB 435S and that is because, 
Just around the corner here, we have got our sheds where we store our grain. And of course, you have to shovel and load up our lorry, it'll be, which we'll somehow have to manoeuvre into this area. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might be able to back it down here and park it here. I don't know. Um, if the worst comes to the worst, I'll just have to use a traction trailer for this bit. Um, but yeah, we have got the, the, the shovel there, which should come in handy a great deal as well. So um, I like that. And again, I've not used that machine too much. We don't have the other loader, it's just that one I've got. Okay then, round here, you'll see what I mean about it being tight if you've not been on this map before. Just round here I've had to manoeuvre the combine. Here it is, this is a John Deere, however, you may recognise it, you may recognise the model. This is the Sampo Rosenlou Commi... Uh, C6 um, with a reskin, but I think it looks good. I think it looks good with that reskin. Turn the torch off. Um, I think it, it is. You can actually kind of see through that. That's weird. Not noticed that before. But yes, it's a, a 319R, and it just seems to work. Now this is up to you if you want me to keep this or not. We don't technically need two combines, but with it being quite hard to maneuver some of these combines around. Um, even this header has had to go on a trailer. I thought it'd be nice to have a smaller combine as well. A much smaller combine. So I went for that and also some people wanted John Deere. I looked for John Deere mods and they were all too big really for the map. So I haven't been able to get any of those. I have downloaded some and tested them. They've all been good but just not right for the map. So I'd have to go with that one. Now just past our wheat store there. We have got a little track which leads up to the fields. Now we don't own these fields yet, but we hopefully will in the future. Another massive storage in there, um, and then a nice track through the trees, which leads up to field 26, 24, and all those beyond. These are grass fields. Hopefully we'll be mowing these at some point. But yeah, lots of, lots of fields. Really nice. So we will continue, I'm not sure which way north is but um, we'll assume it's up, so we'll continue west along our little tour here. To show you these are the sheds, these are just beyond our track there, and we can do a hairpin bend and come back around here. That would be tricky with a big trailer on. Okay, so I'll just come back down here. It's not too hard driving around here in just a tractor with nothing on the back. But I don't think I'm going to be able to tow my own header with the combine. It's just not going to be possible, I don't think. It'll be fine down the road, but getting out of the yard, not too easy. Right, so as you can see from the minimap, loads of loads and loads of fields here loads um, I think they're mainly grass fields which is nice I like a good mixture of arable and livestock um, obviously the grass is going to go into water our livestock um, and then at the end here I've never actually been past here never so this is new to me um, we will turn right I can see there's some kind of diesel filling station up there what it is. I love new maps. I love discovering new things on maps. Yeah, it's not a new map. Um, it's new to me. I've never actually played on it before this week. That makes it a bigger surprise though. Alright, it's just a, a fuel station. So, that's very nice. That'll be where we'll be refueling. Just back into here. Having said that, there should be some more refueling stations. Yeah, there is. There's one at the yard. So it yeah, might not be coming up here too much. Maybe with the lorry if we don't have the trailer on. But we'll see. And 
and uh, it doesn't look to be too much to the right, so I don't think we'll bother going down there. But I am going to head back, uh, going towards the store, but not quite so far, to show you that other yard, which I've actually missed. I assume that goes up to field 47, which we do own, that, that track in front. Yeah, not too much out there. Okay then, so I'm just going to keep going to the end of the road, and uh, then we'll turn off when we get to the other yard. Okay, almost there. Just around here. We have got this lovely little track. Take it steady along here. Some more sheep. In fact, that is our main sheep field. It just comes down here. This map is so well done. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Definitely going to enjoy this Let's Play. Really good. Quite bumpy. That really is quite bumpy. Gonna have to take it really steady. We've got a header on the back, isn't we? Um, yep. Yeah, so here we are. We've got another yard. Very large sheds, these, but very good for storing equipment underneath. Anything else we need to store? Bales, maybe. We'll see. So yeah, loving it. There is our cultivator. I wonder where that got to. There it is. So, um, if anyone knows, oh, fertilizer there as well. If anyone knows what this yard was, what it was intended for, then that'd be good. If it was for bales or whether it was for storing tractors or something, I don't know. Or does it not matter? I can see that looks like a silage clamp. So, yeah, if it's just like a general yard, then that's fine. Uh, but if it has got a intended use then I'd like to use use it for that use that'd be good and some more tractor stores just around here so I think I have virtually covered everything although this looks interesting I'm trying to be as thorough as possible I'm really hoping I'm not missing anything Ooh. Love these tracks. Really good. Ah, so this is leading up to this clump of fields over around here. Field 51 we own, 50, uh, 43 we own. So yeah, this is going to be a challenging map, I think, with our machinery. That's why I haven't been able to buy too big a machinery, although there are a few in there which are quite big. Um, but we'll see how we go. I think it's going to be brilliant really hope it is and hopefully you're all going to enjoy it as well yeah I think we're just leading to field 45 here so I think what I'm going to do is go off the road and I think we'll stop there so there we go everyone Woodside Farm our upcoming LP on Tuesdays and Wednesdays thanks for watching and hopefully you like my choice of machinery if there's something you really hate, let me know. Um, don't just leave a dislike, because it'd be helpful if you could tell me, otherwise you're just going to dislike my other videos as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and you can join me again for more on Woodside Farm tomorrow. Bye for now.